you guys weren't expecting a part two, but here's a part two, so, uh, yep, here we go. So, reviewing Georgia's, um, Georgia's content, I believe it is good, and, well, I like the channel, as I said, I don't really know what to say for this. I... <coughs> so, this is part two with opinions. So, let's get into that. Just kidding. Okay, let's actually get into this now. So right off the bat, in my opinion, um, Georgia makes some very good videos and all that stuff. As I said, they make edits, animation, a dinosaur series with their dinosaur toys, and even did a how to draw video. And what I really adore is is for the fact that Georgia actually made a whole toy series with her dinosaurs, Sisu included in them. And the way I see it, it seems that Georgia did this all by herself and everything. And I'm very proud of what she has done. If you guys want to watch the series, I'll link it both in the description and I will also tell you the series name if you just want to look it up. The series is called Stripe X Blue. I see it's actually pretty good for a series, and it could even become an animated one. Along with that series, it's also very well voice acted and edited. And usually when I watch the type of things like this with toy videos, usually they wouldn't put this type of effect when I watched it, unless I just grew up with the long type of voice actors. He was really, really mean, but he's kind of nice. I think he's my, sort of my type. I kind of like him. I guess I... He, I don't know if he likes me, but I'm going to check later. Try to come back. What the? Who are you? I was actually going to know if you know how to fight, but no, I guess you don't. Okay, so as I put in the text, yes, yes, I have actually seen people that have used these effects in their videos before, but not all the time, especially if it's someone talking in their head. Usually it would just be normal. Like, oh, they're thinking out loud, that sort of thing, instead of using, like, uh, like, effects to, like, make it look like it's in their head, or, like, a flashback or something, like a flashback sequence that you see in movies and TV shows and others. I really like how she made Sisu, I like how she gave Sisu that voice, because it really does look like it matches her. Like, the voice that she had, it actually pretty much looks like it would match the toy if the toy had a voice. That's my opinion. Take another listen, just to be sure, if you think the same as me. You probably don't, but that's okay. I was actually going to know if you know how to fight, but no, I guess you don't. So whether you agree with me or not, right off the bat, once again, right off the bat, it really does seem like it could match uh, the toy Sisu as a character. And if this was an animated series, I'm pretty sure that would be her voice. I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, it matches, doesn't it? But yeah, basically what I'm trying to say, this is my opinion. That's my opinion about um, Stripe X Blue. I really like the series. It actually does seem cool. I like it. In fact, no, I love it. And I like how you mixed uh, both... Um, a dinosaur with Sisu, meaning that uh, they're from both different dimensions, so they don't know each other. I like how you did that. I like how you did that, Georgia. Amazing. I love it. Thank you for making it. Okay, now our next subject, which is our last one. This is my favorite thing. The Flame Heart movie. Flameheart, I really love this animation and I love for the fact that it's becoming a movie because I could see a beautiful destiny that it holds and I can't wait to watch it, well, if it comes out. And even if it doesn't, at least I got to see a trailer of it. It's so good, I, I actually do like this movie. Even though it's not complete yet, it's almost complete. As I said, honestly, this is my favorite thing about this channel to look at to look at one of my favorite things beside the uh, stripe and blue series this is my favorite thing I love watching this video um, and I also really like the character designs and 
the captions from the storyline actually seems pretty cool. Along with this, the animation being very smooth. I really want to see this. And the actual, actual last thing here, they actually make short animated videos of songs. And it seems that they know about Five Nights at Freddy's 2 because there's also a FNAF um, animation. Unless she doesn't know what Five Nights at Freddy's is, but that's okay. And also, I really appreciate and like how, um, how Georgia makes gifts for people. <laughs> there are many gift animations that she's made. She's made some for me and made some for others. So that's another thing that I've noticed about this. And usually when she makes warrior cat edits, usually it's of Scrooge, Scourge. I'm still practicing on how to say it, sorry. But that brings us to the end of this review. I'm tired, so that's why I kind of sound dry. Sorry, I've been working on this for quite a while and taking breaks to figure out what I was going to say next. And so, this is it. Have a nice day or night, and I will see you later. Bye, good night. Gosh, I really need a new outro.